we will begin by talking about the units that are installed vertically, sometimes referred to as upflow furnaces. These can be found in basements, closets, garages, or anywhere where there's enough height to accommodate the unit and ductwork in this configuration. Check out this dramatic photo of a flooded basement and that upflow furnace and water heater are sitting in at least a foot of water. Here's another vertical unit that was affected by a flooded basement. And as we look closer, we see the water line in the side of this cabinet. I'm not sure why that emergency switch is mounted so low on this unit as it does not seem very convenient to use if needed. And the water almost reached it in this water loss scenario. Now that we have seen some real life flooded furnaces, let's review what's inside these units and what levels of water might start being of concern and changing our repair to replacement options. Here we see a unit opened up showing us what a typical configuration might look like with a furnace unit. Please note, this could be different, especially if the unit was an air handler only unit, at which point the evaporator coil might be found on the bottom not the top like in this diagram. Remember those different zones of damage we used with the condenser? Here they are again for review. And as I animate this graphic and add the lines, you can see if the water just touches the bottom of the unit, we might be okay. But as the water rises into and over the blower, chances of potential repairs enters the danger zone and possible replacement of this unit. Again, a full investigation by a qualified technician is probably needed, and many things can affect the level of damage and potential repairs. Those include the type of the water, the depth of the water, how long the unit was wet, and of course the condition of the unit prior to the loss. And as drawn, those depictions only relate to rising or standing water. But what if the water comes from above, which is common in water losses as reviewed earlier in the sources section? As depicted here, if the water does come from above, we are immediately in the danger zone and the unit will have to be fully evaluated and the likelihood of more extensive damages increases as more damages would likely get wet. 